okay now let's print the billing address here okay so for uh, for that we'll go to the order views okay in here we are saving the data so uh, to display all those uh, uh, these data you know this uh, billing address and all those stuff we need the order object right so for that i'll just say order is equal to order dot objects dot get user equals current user and comma is ordered is equal to false okay so because uh, by default it is uh, false right so we are going to uh, make it true when the payment is success okay so for now this is false and let's uh, get this by order number order number equal to order number okay and in the context let's say context is equal to order order and we also need uh, the cart items okay because we want to actually sh uh, uh, show the cart items right cart items because this cart items we are actually getting here okay we have this cart items right so with that we need uh, the grand total tax and we need the total right we need total total colon total we need tax and we need a grand total all right now i can just go to this payment page and say so this uh, inside this p we will say order dot first name now let me refresh okay i'm not getting any uh, this thing so i think we should uh, come from the post request okay check out let me place order okay uh, the problem is uh, we are not actually rendering the HTML so we are just returning it here right so we'll say return render request comma orders slash payments dot HTML with that we'll pass the context now this should be fine i'll say okay now we are getting this uh, first name uh, to print the first name we have you, you know we need to print the full name right we can also uh, make like this order dot uh, last name so this will be actually the full name only but the problem is uh, we are actually printing this uh, you know uh, two times so instead of putting this first name and last name like this we can uh, actually concatenate the first name and last name in the model only okay so let me show you that how we do that so here in the orders we go to models.py right so order so this is the order and uh, here we are getting the first name and last name okay so this is the uh, str method and here i will make uh, one new method let's say diff full underscore name so this will take self and colon let's say return make a f string okay so this is how we format the strings now self dot first name is 
self dot last name okay, if you do like this then you can you will get uh, then you can access this this one okay full name so here we instead of this we will say order dot full name now if you go to uh, here place order now also we are getting the full name okay the same way we will we actually want to do it for the uh, address also because in the address we are getting address line one line two right so we will copy this because this is uh, this this will be easy when you are uh, using the address uh, in the multiple places right so i'll say full address full underscore address so this will be address line one and this will be address line two so this is now concatenated concatenated and uh, we can access full address here okay uh, in the payments just copy and paste it order dot full name uh, full address now refresh okay now we got this address line 1 and line 2 now i need to print uh, the other fields also so uh, the other fields are actually the um the models we have the country state city right let's quickly print them city We put a comma here and order dot state country okay so i will make uh, the margin bottom zero uh, to all the classes okay all right now we see uh, uh, city india uh, you know city here i mean uh, city and uh, the state and uh, actually this, this should be state okay so i'll, I'll go back um, Uh, since the order note is optional we are actually checking if uh, order note exists or not so what i'll do i'll just say um, if condition if order dot order underscore note and if i'll say Or not let it be inside the bold tag and I'll print uh, order underscore note okay order dot order note all right order note is exist actually here if I do the if there is no order note place order so this is not even showing the uh, order note uh, label also okay so this is how it works and uh, what else we actually need to print the email address also right so now you know email address and the uh, phone number also so i uh, do it like this here order dot email and order dot uh, phone all right i think i think this much is enough okay so the next thing is uh, the payment method okay so the payment method is actually uh here order in the order model this is um, where is this payment method okay this is the payment method 
Mm, okay, by default, however, we are going to use the PayPal method, right? So I'll I'll just uh, remove this and write PayPal static value. Okay. So if you want to make uh, another, you know, if you want to uh, scale this project, and you can uh, you can use the different payment methods. Okay. So for now, this is uh, the static value is enough, I guess. Okay. This is PayPal and review products. Here we are going to list the uh, products. Okay, the same way we listed the products inside a, a checkout page, right? I'll go to checkout page now. So here, uh, just uh, scroll to the bottom. So we have this uh, table, right? So this table I'll copy. Okay, so this table I'll copy. So I'll paste it inside this okay uh, first of all i need to remove this and uh, paste it and uh, save the uh, file and so now you can see the the reviews uh, review product okay so quantity is two and the price is this much and total price uh, tax and everything is coming right okay so i will actually uh, put the header here so what i'll do i'll go to the top of this page and here I'll put the H4 and I'll say review your order and make payment. Okay, I will make give it a class of text center. Also, I'll give the class of uh, MB10. Okay, so that I'll get the margin. Okay, why is it like this? Just cut this here and put it here. Okay, now this looks better. So let's see uh, if this is properly working for the multiple products. I'll go to here and I'll add blue and large checkout and place order. All right, so we are getting the proper products here now i can actually make the payment here okay so uh, in this place we are actually going to put the paypal buttons okay so once that is done we are uh, almost done with the uh, payment flow okay so okay now in the next one we are actually going to make uh, the paypal account all right thank you